Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of Sports for Thursday, the 13th of October. I am Curtis Morton. In our headlines, IWPS defeats Nevis Academy in practice encounter. And in our feature for this evening, Fall Swim Fest upcoming. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. One thump, one kick, one box, one slap, too much, too much. One push, one pull, one curse word hurts a lot, hurts a lot. We must stop domestic violence and done with all this nonsense. One hug, one kiss, one kind word means a lot, means a lot. Men and women, treat your partners well. And do not ever put your hands on each other unless it is to show affection. We must stamp out domestic violence and abuse in all of its forms. Stop it! We must stop domestic violence and done with all this nonsense. One hug, one kiss, one kind word means a lot. Means a lot! Well, I'm back and we start with football. The scoreline does not really do justice to the level of competition offered by the Nevis Academy football team. The official results would show that in a practice encounter played on Tuesday the 11th of October, the Ivor Walters Primary School team defeated the Nevis Academy six goals to two at the Bath Village Playfield. However, for those who witnessed the encounter, it was obvious that the Nevis Academy team may well pull off a couple of surprises in the upcoming tournament. According to one spectator speaking of the Nevis Academy team, they have two good guys there at the top and that girl in the back, boy, she's good. However, the more highly ranked IWPS team eventually showed more experience and skill to take the game by that comfortable margin. Meanwhile, the grand opening of the much anticipated primary schools football championship is scheduled for Wednesday, the 19th of October, starting at 12.30 p.m. with an official opening ceremony. There has been a late change of venue for the tournament Instead of the opening ceremony and the matches at the BOJN field, as was previously announced, the venue will now be the Etiwoodet Park. The four matches scheduled for that opening day are at 1.30 p.m., Ivor Walters Primary takes on BOJN and the Nevis Academy takes on Joyce and Liebert Primary. At 2.30 p.m., St. James's Primary engages Maud Cross Prep and the Charleston Primary engages Montessori. Let's go to the Bath Village playing field and we pick up some of the action between Nevis Academy and Ivor Walters Primary. We're here at the Bath Village playing field. It's um, Nevis Academy in the green top coming up against Ivor Walters Primary in a practice encounter, all leading towards the upcoming primary schools football league. And so Ivor Walters has scored, joined First Blood and the green team. That's um, the Nevis Academy. The youngster was pushing forward, hit the ball with his hand. He knew it immediately stopped, and so the referee would have indicated as well. Going for Ivor Walters. Ivor Walters have already tapped in one, looking to score another. He leaves his academy door, looking hungry, especially this youngster. He looks speedy, he looks quick. He's shaking a couple, goes wide of the mark, but um, nobody there to take it home. The goalkeeper comes out and does poorly. It's going to be a corner kick. It's going to be 
A corner kick for the Nevis Academy team. Good kick, good kick, good kick. But um, not being able to carry it through. And so the danger has been cleared. It's um, Ivor Welters on the offensive now, taken away by the Nevis Academy player. Nevis Academy again, another touch of the ball. Trying to go on the right flank. The youngster from IWPS kicks it out. So it's a throw-in for the Nevis Academy team. Ivor Walters. The players look a, a lot bigger in most instances. But um, the defenders for Nevis Academy defended stoutly. Now the little man trying to run for good defensive work there by Ivor Walters. A strong kick over in that danger area. Can this man push forward? No. Good work by the Nevis Academy player. There's a throw-in. Captain. Young lady defending. Youngster number 10 has defended stoutly so far. Now on the left flank, Nevis Academy. The little man trying to push forward. Stopped by Ever Walters back to him now he's still trying to push to taking off him again but a taller guy says I'll, I'll take it on for you but he goes down the youngster has been knocked asunder and the referee very quickly and his teammates as well to look out for him so the coaches for the Ivor Walters team very animated trying to make sure that the players do exactly what they want them to do defending stout the days Ivor Walters that would have pleased the coaches. I have a Walters with the touch coming forward. Stop. Turns now at Nevis Academy. Taken off him by the taller man for I have Walters. I have Walters with the touch. Nevis Academy with a run through. And just stop nicely there. Defended stoutly there by the Ivor Walters defender. Now the big number 10 defender. Lots of exchanges here. Again, the little man. He's a little man, but he's powerfully built. Number 10. And he has defended stoutly so far for the Nevis Academy team. So, talking about the coaches, coaches for the Nevis Academy team here, giving the instructions and advice as well. So Alexandra and coach, well, well, lots of exchanges. I've always with the run through. How will the defender deal with it? The young lady stops it for the moment. That's good work by the young lady. And now on the left flank, the little man trying to push his way through. He does good work there. Anybody home? He's trying to turn and trying to go forward, trying to go forward, trying to go forward, trying to go forward. The ball has been kicked out. Ivor Walters deciding you're not going to get any further. Before that, I'm going to kick it out of touch. And he did. So it's a flowing actually, not a corner kick. Good set up there by the I've, by the Nevis Academy player. And I think the whistle is gone. So is it gonna be another flowing? It will be. Alex Daxton making his voice heard. Asking them to look for that ball when it comes to it's going to be a kick actually a corner kick now short pass and he drives does the little man he drives again but each time there was a boot stopping him from the Ivor Walters defender well still with Nevis Academy again being blocked by the boot of the Ivor Walters player they're defending stoutly of the Ivor Walters they know that the ball is in that danger area and they're trying to make sure it doesn't get any further they're already leading one goal to nil and they don't want that to change um, negatively and Nevis Academy trying to make waves here trying to equalize trying really hard to equalize here goes low flat kick stopped by the Nevis Academy player he's shaking one stopped nicely there by the defender for Ivor Walters clearing the danger almost immediately Back now with um, tap nicely taken off him by Ivor Walters. He's going to keep it in play. And the uh, Nevis Academy player, I think he came off his boot. 
but the referee has allowed it to continue. Must have been just touch and go on that line. Trying to hook his way through. There he goes, weaving his way through. Anybody home, he drives. But the goalkeeper got a hand to it and stopped it. So an attempt there by the Nevis Academy players. But it was stopped by the goalkeeper for Ivor Walters. Still one goal to nil. Still with um well Ivor Walters on the drive. Goalkeeper bubbles with it and then grabs it. Drives it out now for the goal kick. Taken by the Ivor Walters player. Trying to shake his way through. Stopped by the bigger man for Nevis Academy. Doing a bit of a solo run now. Here's the little man trying to carry through. Stopped by the Ivor Walters player. Diver Walters now with the ball, trying to shake his way through, moving nicely, stopped by his own teammate off the boot, and uh, trying to clear still. Ivor Walters taken off him. Um, that young lady has done pretty well so far. And here goes now. Ivor Walters, sorry, he, um, Nevis Academy, one of them goes down, but he's strong. He's back on his feet in short order. And so trying to go forward through that mass of feet. Nevis Academy loses it now. Back with the touch with Ivor Walters. Regained by Nevis Academy. Does he keep it in? No whistle. So he's still in play. And Ivor Walters with the touch. Ivor Walters, the big man with the touch. Trying to push it off him. And he might just knock it out. Nevis Academy, he stops it. And uh, boots it nicely to the young lady who has played really well. Gets it off her, but Ivor Walters trying to push through. But it just that his direction was lacking on that occasion. But he has... Well, that little man, that little man, number 10, he has worked overtime here. He has certainly worked overtime and uh, drives it back, stopped again by Ivor Walters. The defenders on both sides do pretty well, but here's a young man for Nevis Academy and uh, crosses and uh, drives. The goalkeeper comes out and stops it. So another attempt at goal, and again, the goalkeeper doing very well, latching on to it quickly. And gets the goal kick now. Ivor Walters with a possible chance. But there's the number 10 defender with the goalkeeper. He grabs on to it. So another attempt at goal by Ivor Walters. Low flat kick. Ivor Walters tries to come in. A bit of a dummy on that occasion. Misses it completely. Well, there's that young lady. She's definitely playing ball. She's playing some serious ball, this young lady. Not afraid either. Not, not backing down. Kicked out of touch once more, this time by the Ava Walters player. So the bench for Nevis Academy looking pretty full. And so too the bench for the Ava Walters team. Throwing now. I think it came off the hand of the Ava Walters player. But no whistle. Here goes. Knocked out again. I think it was Ivor Walters once more. So the ball being knocked out on a regular basis. No, it's um, Ivor Walters' ball. So it's going to be a flowing. Lots of instructions being given out there by the coaches. Ivor Walters, a bit of a touch taken off him by the Nevis Academy. Lots of exchanges. Goes past the young lady, but goes out with it as well here's the little man he knows a thing or two about this ball and uh, this little man also seems to be pretty comfortable with the ball as well driven hard and out by the Avalters defender and in the process um, Nevis Academy has been given the green light to have a free kick wall formation here by the Avalters team so can he penetrate this wall so let's see what happens Oh, he just clears the entire crossbar. Good try, says Alex Claxton. Here goes now. Um, 
Uh, Nevis Academy on the offensive. Nevis Academy, here's the little man, tries to shake him, but the defense and the goalkeeper comes out now, grabs onto it, and he tells his teammates to go back. I'm going to give it a good kick here. And so the Ivo Walters goalkeeper has been tested. That's not the strongest of kicks, but then he's a little man, and uh, the young lady's on five Walters, but um, it's Ivo Walters on the offensive here. But uh, will they get through the... Well, whose ball? The whistle has gone. Who created, uh, um, who was it who offended on that occasion? We'll wait and see. Seems as if it was Ivor Walters. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Nevis Academy team. Two goals to nil. And we have already completed one half. And Ivor Walters scored two goals in the first half. One probably in the first three minutes of the game. And the other pretty close to half time. So here goes. He's going to turn. Ivo, uh, sorry, Nevis Academy on the ball. Nevis Academy on the right flank. Push and flow. Nice work here. He's coming through. Can he cross? Will he cross? He does. Where's the goalkeeper? Well, my goodness, he stopped it. And so, I think a chance went to begin there, but it was a nice setup, but nobody was there to take it home. Goalkeeper was able to stop it, however. Ivo Walters on the offensive. Ivo Walters on the offensive, driving it nicely. The goalkeeper is in park. He should be looking to get that ball. Ivo Walters on the right flank. He's open. He's clear. Is he? He's very clear. He drives. It's gone in. It's goal. Oh, Make it. that free. Free goals to nil. It was a good run through. A good cross. Good finish. And the free goals to zip. So here goes now, Nevis Academy with the touch, the little man rushing forward here, he stops. <laughs> and now Nevis Academy with the touch, trying to bow his way through. He has a chance, he has a chance if ever there was one. Oh, too much hooking. Boom! Gone in! Gone in! Nevis Academy has scored! Look at the celebration! Oh, look at the celebration! Well, 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 Coach Alex Claxton. Um, he doesn't show too much emotions. <laughs> he should have been jumping over the moon, really. But that's one goal to free. Nevis Academy has scored. So it's nice to watch the reaction of all the coaches. The coaches on both sides, pointing, giving directions, giving instructions. Very animated on the, on the lines. So... Drives, Ivor Walters, where's the goalkeeper? He's making a belated move to come out and hold on to it. And I think he would have made an error. Let's see what the goalkeeper did wrong here. I think he took it outside of the, of the area. There's a certain area that he shouldn't have trespassed outside of. And he went outside of that area and he has given a free kick to Ivor Walters. Well, what a travesty here. And he's, uh, and the good thing about it is that the referee is educating the goalkeeper and saying, well, next time you don't do so and so and so. But um, he's under some serious pressure now. And they're trying to get the wall formation. Last time around, it was certainly even worse than the wall of Jericho. It was an awful formation for a wall. It's a little bit organized this time. But let's see if he can stop this. Ivor Walters with a chance to make it four. Whistle goes. What's happening here? He drives. It's gone in. Make that four. Four goals to one. Ivor Walters dominating this game. Four goals to one. The goalkeeper made an error. And they have pounced on it. So four goals to one. Ivor Walters totally dominating this game. You get it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So here goes now. Trying to well, Ivor Walters with the with the ball, trying to turn. The young lady misses that there. Well, he's open. He's very open. Here's another chance. The goalkeeper slides and he has saved it. Has he? Brilliant save. Well, well, well. Really, he knows the national anthem. He knows the motto. It's all about country above self. He put his neck on the line on that occasion. Slide and save. And uh, a corner kick has been awarded. It's nice to see that. That's very poor. Well, apparently, 
somebody else is going to take the kick. So somebody else is going to take the kick. Here he goes. Drives into it. And uh, trying to turn, trying to turn, trying to turn. Well, Ivo Walters on the offensive, hooks one, still going through on the right flank, still Ivo Walters, still Ivo Walters, it drives, it's gone, in! Make that five, five goals to one. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. One thump, one kick, one box, one slap, too much, too much. One push, one pull, one curse word hurts a lot, hurts a lot. We must stop domestic violence and done with all this nonsense. One hug, one kiss, one kind word means a lot, means a lot. Men and women, treat your partners well and do not ever put your hands on each other unless it is to show affection. We must stamp out domestic violence and abuse in all of its forms. Stop it! We must stop domestic violence and done with all this nonsense. One hug, one kiss, one kind word means a lot. Means a lot! Well, I'm back and tonight swimming is in the spotlight. The Nevis Aquatic and Sailing Center is ready to host the inaugural Fall Swim Fest, which is slated for Sunday the 23rd of October at Wally Beach. Let's take in this. Hello and welcome. My name's T. Livert and I'm a swimming instructor with the Nevis Aquatic and Sailing Centre. We're very excited to announce that on the 23rd of October 2022, we will be holding our inaugural Fall Swim Fest, which is taking place at this beautiful location on Wiley Beach, Nevis. We're expecting at least 50 swimmers to take part in the events and there'll be a number of events for them to be taking part in from 9 o'clock on the Sunday till about 4 o'clock, 4.30 p.m. on the Sunday afternoon. So come along, bring all your family and friends as this is going to be one of the most exciting and well attended events on Nevis for a very long time. Hello, my name is James Weeks and I'm the coach for the Bring It Swim team and also on the uh, NASC. So, on this day, aforementioned day that we have in this inaugural um, swim fest, we would have teams out of St. Kitts, namely Blue Marlin. We'll have teams from Nevis also who would then be battling for supremacy. Now, we would have age group from as low as, um, I would want to say, eight and under, and go up to about 15, 16, somewhere around there. So what we want to really showcase is that you're not too old to do it and you're never too young to start. So on that particular day, what we want is to make sure that everybody coming out and see what is possible. Because we're not just swimming because it's a, a swim event. We are trying to showcase that even though the little kids, you may think that they can't do it. We want to show you that, yes, they can. So come on out see what is possible and if you feel like you are you want to jump in at that particular time if you have a, 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 a you want to have a, a little contest with somebody even as, as an adult we would certainly try to make way so that you can go out there and see what it feels like and so for in, in, in that case so you can also have your little um, rift between somebody else you think that you're faster they think that they're faster we could settle it over here so come on, come on to this place, this particular spot on the 23rd of October. Watch it all take place. We will be there. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank James for opening the door for the possibility of me participating on the day. So that's a good reason to come on out. But on behalf of the Department of Sports, I would like to say com extend commendation to the Nevis Aquatic and Sailing Center for this wonderful initiative. I remember when we met with members of the organization to discuss the event, and when they outlined the nature of the event and the goals and mission of the event, we were very excited at possibly being a part of it. 
So kudos to you guys for this initiative. Um, I will also take this opportunity to encourage you to ensure that throughout the years, the coming years, that we put on more events like these and it's just not a one-off event. We want to see this particular event be an annual event. The Department of Sports will make ourselves available to support whenever you need us. So I'm looking forward to sun the Sunday, the 23rd of October, and I'm encouraging the general public to come on out and support this wonderful event. Hello, everybody. I'm Danielle Connor, the chairperson of the University Aquatic and Sailing Center. So I would just like to think, say thank you to the Department of Sports for jumping on board and assisting us with this. We have a number of individuals that have also made contributions and sponsorships to make this event possible. Um, we are still open for registrations. The deadline is Sunday, October 16th. You can register with your club if you're associated with the club. You can also register individually for those who might not be with the club. You're still welcome to come out and participate. The registrations are on our website. That is the Nevis Aquatic and Sailing Center dot com slash Fall Swim Fest. I, once again, that's Nevis Aquatic and Sailing Center dot com backslash Fall Swim Fest. All the information from the event is on the website along with the registration uh, forms. The deadline is uh, this Sunday, October 16th. It is a fee of $5 for the individuals registering, or if you're with the club, the club would have the, the fees put in already. So we're looking forward to everybody's support, having a wonderful event and a great day. So just want to let everybody know, we also have Big Six and Rosie's Patties, uh, fully stocked uh, bar of refreshments. So we please, we welcome everybody to come out, support the food, drinks, merchandise for sale, and we'll have a wonderful day and cheering on, supporting the, the swimmers. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.